Welcome back to the Sideline Report. Marvin Jackson here. The Skins got some big plays from an unlikely running back who was dreaming about getting another shot at the NFL just a few weeks ago. His name is Capri Bibbs. Kid Capri, as I call him. It's so important to have guys like Capri Bibbs in the organization at this time of the season, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, football is all about opportunity. Mm -hmm. And you can see clearly the Redskins did simplify the offense for him. He was able to get out there and to execute the best way he was able to, um, able to to help the Redskins win. That says a lot about the types of players that they're bringing in and the heart of the players they get into this And there are lots of other guys out there, right? Uh, well, Redskins have seen a lot of them <laughs> this year because there have been a lot of guys that went down this uh -huh. season. Uh, and I know you know a lot about some of those guys uh, because you work with the regional combines and getting guys that nobody really knows about. But uh, mm -hmm. if you, I think we just had a list up there about all the Redskin players mm -hmm. like that are done. I mean, yeah, and uh, Chris Thompson went down, and this guy comes in and, and scores mm -hmm. on a play similar to what Chris Thompson would have scored on. Yeah, it, when you look at that, it's big names that went down. Jonathan Allen, Foster, uh, Compton Kelly. And when you look, uh, go down, down the line, Thompson, Reed, and Nicholson, those are like big time wow. starters. And they're all yeah. starters. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. And I yeah. think out of the 15 projected play, players, 11 of those guys that went down were starters. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. That's, that's big for the Redskins. And that tells a lot about the team, but it tells a lot about them bringing in those players that have come in and really helped that team. Mm -hmm. So who else, who are some other guys? I think you were mentioning earlier yeah, some have, other guys I mean, you that have come in. almost half the offensive line. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is terrible, right. but I mean, you know, it, it, it's a credit to, you know, the Redskins and the staff and their mm -hmm. eye for, for talent. You have yeah. Bergstrom coming in, playing. Chase Ruye coming in and playing, you know, mm -hmm. significant minutes. I mean, that Seattle game, you had guys literally, you know, they were hanging out with us the night before, and then right. all of a sudden they're on the flight to Seattle <laughs> to play a football game. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Ari Kwanjo, who doesn't, who was with the team, he does know the system, and that's the thing with Bibbs as well is that you know he came in, he kind of, Ready. he kind of knew the system a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, being with San Francisco and kind of mm -hmm. running the same similar, right. similar type of offense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so he he knew kind of what was going on, and like right. like bad news bad news Barnes said, <laughs> you know he kind of had to simplify the offense for him just yeah. to make sure that he was able to you know play play Sunday. Right. Um, mm -hmm. One interesting fact about Mr. Mr. Kid Capri is that you know he does have he does have some jewelry from the Broncos. He did he, yeah, he got a Super Bowl did, ring with the Broncos. Yeah, so yeah. I mean it's not like he's you know uh, a football novice, but. Yeah. You know, he did come in and show and prove, which is what the Redskins need nowadays. Mm -hmm. They have to have, to have some young talent. Right. Will the Redskins win out the rest of the season? You got two more games here at home with Denver and then Giants. I believe that the Denver game, they could probably pull that game out. It is a home game. And when you have young players, they yeah. play better at home. And so when you have that confidence, knowing you have the backing of 71,000, screaming your name out there in the field, that confidence itself mm -hmm. can help the guys play a little Better well, they'd have they had that do. all season, those fans <laughs> at home. Uh -huh. 70 some, 71,000 fans. So you're saying yeah. with the, with the, the new guys. guys. Yeah. You're saying with the young guys, the young need, guys. They need that home. You know that home feel because that's where the confidence is at. Really? So yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, I think absolutely. The, I think the veteran yeah. guys play better on the road. Yeah, yeah. 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 I really do. Yeah, yeah. because <laughs> considering the risk can't have no but a whole bunch of young guys. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. Yeah. 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 So. uh you see them winning against Denver. Yeah, I do see them winning against the Denver game. Yeah, no right. question. And they'll split one and one. One and one. Yeah. Wow. Not quite sure where that loss is coming from. Oh. Something <laughs> is telling me Ooh, something I is. I hope it's not. What something you're is telling me to <laughs> lean towards that Giants game yep. simply okay. because you know they do have Eli mm -hmm. um, for now, mm -hmm. um, and that's probably going to be his last game in New York. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. he's going to be fired up. Yeah. Um, so something leads me to believe mm -hmm. that that game might. You know, mm. that, that might not be so We have to outcome. call up Kid Capri yeah. Yeah, they, out of New York. Have to get him the ball. Do you hear Winston take that deep breath like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know well, well, no, I, I look at that giant game being a hard game because, you know, they put up 29 points against Philadelphia. Yeah which yeah. is one of the best teams in the NFL. And the Giants are, are you know, I'm not saying they're starting to play great, but I think that's going to be a hard game for the Redskins yeah. up in New York. Yeah. Is it a must for Gruden to win out? Yes. To stand in the favor yes. of the Washington Redskins? 
I think I as did, long yeah. as Bruce is here, I think Jay is okay. Oh, okay. If he loses these next two games, you might have those questions swirling around. You might see some vultures in Ashburn, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So that that might coming be the in case. For yeah, the coming the in, kill. coming in for some kill. They <laughs> coming to get some fresh right. meat. Right. But um, I think if Bruce is there, I think Jay is yeah. okay. I, I think due to that that long list of you know duct tape of players <laughs> being out for the season, I think because of that is going to save him at least for another year. Yeah. I mean, when Chris Thomas, I mean, when Chris Thompson went down for the year, I thought he Their was a, a killer went, threat. Yes. They was a whole different dynamic Absolutely. offensive mm -hmm. team. When he went down, that's when everything had changed. I think because of those injuries, it's going to buy him out. But it's definitely going to have to see what these guys, how they're going to close out the rest of the season yeah. to see how much sustainable ability he had for the Redskins. So can Kirk Cousins be successful against that Denver defense, though? Because they're – they're still a very good defense, right? right? Yeah. Yeah, they're a good defense, but they do give up big plays. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that the Broncos that hurt them this year, they lost a lot of fundamentals on the details on that defense. Mm -hmm. That's the part that's going to actually open up opportunities for the Redskins to take advantage of them on the, small, on the short passing game. The deep ball game is not there. I think with the corners they have, they're going to shut them down with that. But the way how the Redskins execute the small, the short ball mm -hmm. game and using the running backs probably a little bit more, you see that Bibbs, he can catch the ball at the backfield. Mm -hmm. That will give him a little bit of element of that Thompson. Helps. But their, their offense has been shaky to me, the Redskins, for the last four games. So mm -hmm. I, I think that you can't just count on that, mm -hmm. uh, Denver struggling and so forth, yeah. because the Redskins have kind of like disappeared offensively somewhat. Yeah. They yeah. can't run the ball. Yeah. Their passing yeah. game has gone somewhat. Yeah. But it's, well, a, it's, a difference. What, we, it's a difference at this time of year because you have a guy that's trying to prove right here. Yourself. And uh, we'll be back in a moment with more football talk. And uh, we're also going to take a look at what the Redskins are doing off the field that is true to the holiday season. Sideline Report will be right back. <laughs> 